kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back to my another video tutorial on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part ten of my video series on audio video calling app using Firebase in Android Studio. Alright, guys. So, in this video, I will only be giving you the demo, and we will try to run our applications to check our work which we have done so far. So as you can see that I have connected my device with this laptop and I since I am using the Samsung so I have the Samsung Flow app which just shows your screen onto your laptop or computer. Okay. So here first of all let me just run the app because I already have since I already have uh, connected my device and it's available now here. So here you will be you will see let me just make it here and let's just okay so guys now the application is going to be installed on my phone and we will check it first of all we will check the login part and the registered part as well and yes So and also I have opened this Firebase uh, console here uh, we will see all the logged in users so now the application is going to be installed so let's wait for it to install on the other device. Okay, so now the application is running and there you can see we have the main screen here. So first of all, we will try to log in using our credentials. So here, first of all, let me say. Gmail.com and there we set the password as double zero and there you can see we can just use the toggle to hide the password so suppose we want to use one two three four five six okay and we try to log in and there you can see incorrect email and password because it's not available so we will go back and we will try to register our user so first of all we will enter our name and we will enter our email for that we can say and here we set the password as one two three four five six okay and if we click on create account and there you can see that now our account is created and we are now in the home screen of our application and for this firebase if we refresh it so we can see the e email and information about the logged in user and also if we click on the real time database and we will see the values which are stored inside okay so here we have the node database inside this we have users tab and then we have the user id and inside that we have a couple of uh, values for example we have email we have stored the id image url is default because we will use the image url uh, in, uh, at the last parts of our video series and now we have name search and status okay guys so now that was it so if another user is created so it will create a separate uh, separate node here and inside that node the particular uh, the specific information will be uh, stored so that's how the uh, application looks so far and i think it's good but now what we are going to achieve is first of all uh, in our next part of the video series we will try to do something like if the user is already logged in and if he goes back okay and if he opens the application again and there is he should be uh, directed towards the home screen not this main activity or this screen because he is already logged in okay so we will do that in our next part of the video also we will now be working on the home screen activity for our application so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and good